Hey gaming fans, so today's another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile, and this one is called Dice Jar. Um, so basically the focus of this deck is to win through Dice Jar. Now of course this is a fun deck, this is not meant to be taken as a, you know, tournament series deck or anything like that. It's really just to uh, primarily annoy your opponent and just win uh, the cheesiest way, and that's through rolling of the dice. Now Dice Jar, if you're not familiar, is um, both players roll a six-sided die once, the player with the lowest result takes damage equal to their opponent's result times 500 points. However, if the winner is uh, got a 6, the loser takes 6,000 points of damage. And if the results are the same, you roll again. So you're obviously hoping to roll the 6 and uh, do 6,000 points of damage to your opponent. And then uh, try and get a second jar off for the remainder of the damage. Um, so in order to do this, I mean, without relying on Joey Wheeler luck, um, we're going to play that six, which is a continuous trap card that came out uh, a while back. And so each time a player rolls a die, you get to choose one die result and apply the appropriate effect based on his result. So if it's a one, three or a five, the, do the die result is treated as a six. And if it's a two, four or a six, the die roll is treated as a one. So obviously you're going to manipulate the dice in your favor to try and get you the 6,000 damage to your opponent. So to uh, achieve this deck, we're gonna have to get the dice jar into our hand. So I put two Sangan in here. Um, now Sangan, obviously a slow card, um, but you know, once you summon it, then you would just link up into your Salomon Great Al Mirage, and, and then you get his search off. Um, and then you would grab your dice jar and get ready for your play. Other than that, you just need your that six in your hand. So to do that, we're going to draw. We're going to hopefully draw some cards. So three card card D for draw power. Two cyber volley. Um, so card card D, you just tribute it, draw two cards. Um, you do end your turn, but that's okay. Um, cyber volley, you have to tribute himself and another uh, monster to uh, draw two cards. So, you know, you could pull this off. Uh, we have for defense and to survive a few turns, Swift Scarecrow. So if your opponent uh, declares a direct attack, you could discard this card, then end the battle phase. Um, also, we have three Battle Fader. Same idea, if your opponent attacks, you summon the Battle Fader and end the battle phase. Uh, and Battle Fader is good with uh, your, um, what is it called? Your Cyber Valley because then you'll have something to tribute next turn to draw the two cards. Then to kind of slow down your opponent's shenanigans, we got three hand traps. Uh, so I put in three veilers. Um, I mean, just whatever hand traps you have. Now for the spells, we have a draw card, um, one day of peace, each player draws a card, and then they take, no, then no players take damage till uh, the end of the opponent's next turn. So that's fine, you just get the way to turn. I put two pot of duality. Uh, this is just to help search to get through your deck to look for that trap card. Because really that's what you're going to be drawing for. Because you'll probably be able to get the Jice Star into your hand pretty quickly. Uh, so you just go, you know, play pot of duality just to help fish for that trap. Some more draw cards. Pot of desires. Uh, Banish ten cards. Um, you know, if you have pot of extravagance, it would probably be even better. Then we got two hand destruction. Oh, sorry, three hand destruction. Uh, so again, more draw power. Pretty much this whole deck is just focusing on pulling off this one combo. So you want to draw as much as possible. Uh, so each player sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard and then draws two cards. Now, you might want to um, think about also sending a uh, dice jar to the graveyard because there is a card that will help us. And then again, some, some more draw and discard. Uh, Dark World Dealings. So I put two of those in there. Uh, just another draw card, and then each player discards a card. Then we got three Reckless Greeds for the traps. Um, you know, again, more draw power. This whole deck is pretty draw, pretty much just draw power. Here's the uh, card that might help you if you were to discard a dice jar. Burst, birth, burst Rebirth. Uh, you pay 2,000 life points and target a monster in your graveyard and special summon it in face down defense position. So pretty much you're going to pitch your um, dice jar into the grave, and then uh, on your opponent's turn, you can reborn it back face down to be flipped face up. And to flip it face up, we're gonna have Desert Sunlight. 
So this is a good card. If you were able to get two dice drawers onto the field at the same time with your that six, you're pretty much going to win because uh, you just activate Desert Sunlight, you flip them both up, and there you go. Um, this could also work, you know, if your opponent tries to do something against your, your face down while you're waiting to flip it. But um, other than that, that's pretty much what it's for. Anyways, I just thought I would uh, share this deck. It's a fun deck. Again, um, don't take it too seriously. It's one of those ones you just uh, pull out to uh, play against your friends and, and have some crazy fun. Anyways, hope you liked the deck. Throw some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, always like to hear what you have to say. Hope you subscribe and talk to you later.